Welcome aboard Dugout News YouTube channel. It's what you watching, and I got some new news for you in the world of boxing. Now, the best fight in boxing, according to Eddie Hahn, is Terence Pat Crawford versus Jerome Boots Ennis, and uh, this is uh, the greatest matchup uh, that Eddie Hahn wants uh, to make. Well, Eddie Hahn believes Terence Crawford versus Jerome Boots Ennis is the best fight that can be made in boxing today. The British promoter signed uh, Ennis earlier this year and uh, the pair are staging uh, all uh, did go on to stage their first fight uh, on uh, Saturday night where Boots uh, did come out victorious beating uh, David Venetian. Now, Crawford who is uh, 40 fights, no losses. Well, Boots is at 32 now, no losses. And uh, though the younger man uh, that is put is yet to be tested at the top level, Ed Hand believes that uh, making a fight uh, between Ennis, uh, his uh, now uh, man in his stable at match room versus Terence Bad Crawford is the greatest matchup that can be made in boxing today. Boots defended his IBF World Weight World title against David Avenition and uh, he has, he has, he has to prove himself against uh, the big guys in there, in that welterweight division, Stanios, Barrios, so many guys out there that can give uh, Boots a run for his money. I've heard of uh, Teofimo Lopez moving up to welterweight. He wants a belt in there, maybe a matchup with Jeron and Boots. So, uh, so many matchups that we want to see Boots in, even before we see Boots Crawford uh, bout Boots is getting it easy if he gets Terence Crawford uh, in 2025 uh, that will be an easy route, easy way easy way to the top easy way to the top, he got his belt via email after Terence Crawford uh, was still embroiled in negotiations uh, for a rematch with uh, Aerospace the IBF decided otherwise that's their norm, that's how they do their things, they don't wait around we've seen uh, what happened to Alexander Yusuk? They did um, uh, force him to uh, relinquish that belt and uh, leave it up uh, there for Daniel Dubois to take it up. And uh, it's going to be on the line come uh, September 21st when uh, Daniel Dynamite Dubois will be versing uh, Anthony uh, Joshua. Now, um, we all know that uh, Terence Bud Crawford uh, in his last fight uh, terribly, fatically beat up Errol Spence. Uh, last year, and uh, he became the undisputed uh, WBA, WBC, IBF, and WBO welterweight world champion. And uh, at the time, Jerome Ennis Boots held the IBF interim belt and was mandatory for a shot at the champ. However, Crawford uh, showed no interest in facing. Uh, uh, it's not quite uh, saying that he didn't show interest in facing Jerome uh, uh, Boots Ennis because uh, Terence Crawford um, ideally had uh, given his camp, had given uh, Boots's camp at least two chances uh, to, to, to verse Terence Crawford. And uh, news did come out that, uh, 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 and this came out from uh, the father's mouth, saying that uh, they didn't uh, take the Terence Crawford fight because of uh, their affiliation to Showtime and uh, PBC, uh, there was so much of the excuses why they didn't take up that fight. And uh, for anyone to come out and say that uh, uh, Crawford didn't show interest in versing uh, Jerome Boots Ennis, it's only that uh, Crawford did win uh, the undisputed uh, about with Errol Spence and uh, the IBF was in a rush uh, to try and force him far versus the mandatory guy. And this was not the case while Errol Spence was uh, still held that IBF belt when he was still the unified welterweight champion. Um, and uh, Terence Crawford winning it, then uh, all hell broke loose 
the IBF coming out uh, sternly to, to, to force him to relinquish that belt and uh, uh, that's how Boots did uh, take up that belt and uh, was upgraded, uh, up, upgraded as the IBF champion by default. Now, uh, Crawford has uh, instead elected to move up in weight and will be challenging uh, Uzbekistan is WBA Super World Weight World Champion Israel Madrimov on August 3rd and uh, it should be known that uh, Eddie Han is also the promoter of Madrimov and uh, he told uh, reporters that I really think uh, all I really like uh, Madrimov's chances against uh, Crawford but Crawford is obviously a big favorite however looking ahead Eddie Han said Crawford versus Boots is the best fight in boxing and questionably before Boots goes to 154 pounds I would really like to see him unify at 147 probably become undisputed that's Eddie Han speaking the move up in weight is uh, inevitable you could uh, clearly see that uh, Boots is a huge guy he's a huge guy uh you, you could uh, you can't sense it he's a huge guy uh he was talking to uh, in an interview i was watching some interview and uh, boots was saying that he can move up to 160 up to middleweight you see he can move up to there so uh, let's wait and see but uh you see erihan also did continue to say that uh at the same time, you want to do it, and uh, when he's achieved everything he can achieve at 147, I've got to be honest, being around him and seeing the size of him, I was quite surprised that he makes 147 albies like he does at uh, the weigh-in on uh, Friday. He was 146 albies, and uh, his father, trainer, Buzi Ennis, was like, I actually think uh, he could make... 140 albies he didn't look dry his face wasn't drawn in the slightest and he believes he can go up to 168 albies uh, eventually so i think you are gonna see someone like uh, jerome ennis definitely move to 154 and definitely move to 160 albies over time but i don't like to make the move without clearing the division he's won a world championship but it hadn't just be a shame if uh, he didn't unify as uh, someone of uh, his uh, ability. But now we know that uh, Taki Al Shiki, uh, His Excellency in Saudi Arabia, is proposing Terence Crawford versus Jerome Boots Ennis at uh, 154. His Excellency Taki Al Shiki confirmed this on X that he wants to make the fight between uh, Terence Crawford and uh, Jerome Boots Ennis at 154. Promoter Eddie Hunt stated during uh, uh, last night's post-fight interview after Boots' his, uh, fifth round stoppage win over David Avenition that he believes His Excellency will make Crawford versus Boots. Moreover, Canelo Alvarez won't fight Crawford. Hunt points out that he doesn't think Crawford, who is now at uh, 40 fights, no losses, 31 KOs, who turns 37 in two months on uh, September 28th, will beat uh, Israel Madrimov on August 3rd. Crawford will be defeated by the unbeaten uh, Lito Gigigi Madrimov, who is now at uh, 10 fights, no losses, one draw, seven KOs in on his record. And uh, in uh, 20 days from now, around uh, even or maybe less than uh, 20 days uh, from now on August 3rd, at the BMO Stadium in uh, Los Angeles. And uh, uh, he will have to decide if he wants to face the young Phenom uh, Boots Ennis off the back of uh, a loss. I just reached out to uh, boxer Jerome Ennis and Eddie Hunt to congratulate him on his win. And I would love to see Ennis in uh, f a fight with uh, Crawford at weight 154 soon. That was uh, Taki Al Shiki speaking on uh, Twitter. Now, fans on social media believe Crawford will do everything within his powers to avoid uh, Boots Ennis like the plague. But, well, I don't think Crawford uh, is trying to. to, 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 to avoid boots uh, like so many people do come out and state i think he has bigger goals just now uh but still has a lot on his plate still has the uh 147 division uh at his hands and uh crawford is trying to chase greatness he's trying to go for the belts at 154 
maybe Boots moves up and uh, gets in there. Maybe he finds Crawford in there with the belt and uh, he's made a mandatory. Maybe, maybe now, if Crawford does avoid that, then you can call it ducking. But now, uh, you think uh, Crawford has uh, something on his plate. And uh, unless uh, there's some big monies for a fight between him and uh, Jerome Boots Ennis, that's how we can get to uh, eventually see that fight now that uh, even uh, His Excellency Taki Al Shiki wants to see that fight. Probably it's going to be happening. Crawford has never uh, ducked anyone. He will go in for a fight with anyone. He's that talented and he believes in his abilities that he can beat up on anyone. And so is Jeroen Ennis Boots. He's a guy, huge, huge, huge uh, talent in there. He does believe in his ability. And uh, hopefully we can eventually do get a chance to see this fight. What do you think of all this with uh, Taki Al Shiki coming out to say that uh, uh, the Jeroen Ennis Boots versus Crawford fight is something that... Uh, He's looking into making very soon at 154. Eddie Han also saying that it is the greatest matchup that you can ever make in boxing currently. Do place your comment in the comment section below. Please subscribe if you're here to subscribe. I sign out. Peace.